Okay guys, we're going to do now, I'm going to show you just what's going on around here. This is my, my township's police log of all the crimes that they, you know, what we'll do is we'll go back three months. <clears throat> okay, we'll start here. May toward the week of May 29th of this year through June 4th. You see all the calls, cashing of fraudulent checks, theft of the vehicle. Stolen car, theft the cash, harassment by email, someone tried to steal admission stickers, stealing out an unlocked car, copper and aluminum. Here's a uh, hit and run, leaving a scene of a crash. Okay, now do the next week. Here's another. I don't think that's the same one. Drunk driver. Okay, this is the 15th through the 21st. Stealing from a car, harassment complaint. Oh, that was actually a calm week. Look at this, one, two, three, three on the same road, probably with the same person. Theft from an unlocked vehicle. Here's two hit and runs. Got it, whatever that was. Step of medication. Stole tools, some guy's tools. Here's three hit and runs. These are all roads right around me. Now we'll do June. Here's three more hit and runs. And if you guys want to take a closer look at them, you can always put your uh, YouTube in slow mo, or you can pause it. That's why I'm just uh, I'm flying through these a little bit. Here's a hit and run crash. That's also William Flynn Highway. That's also considered Route 8. Here's two more hit and runs.
Family dispute left the vehicle damaged. Theft of rotors and scrap metal. Someone stole the rotors off a car. Hit and run. Another hit and run. Okay, this is, we'll do the last thing of June, the last week of June. Catalytic converter stolen, they'll start to do that around here. Stolen suspension stickers off a vehicle. Counterfeit money. Friday, like twenty dollar bills passed. Two hit and runs. Resident egged on Oakwood Square. PayPal scam. Two more hit and runs. This road, this Butler, Butler Plank Road and Butler Street, these are almost where all the hit and runs are. This is real bad in the morning, these these roads right here. And Route 8, they're real bad. That's why almost all the hit and runs are coming from this road here. And you would think the police would monitor the road, but they don't. Okay, here's the last one. Assault by two drunks, drunks basically. But they were drunk at 117 on the same road. An hour later, they're drunk again. And they assaulted someone a second time. Passing bad checks. Three of them. Look at this one. See, Butler, here it is again. On Butler Plank Road. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. Hit and run on, uh, I, I, ride, I drive this a lot. Babcock. Shame on a mess. Guys, I gotta shave my security system now. We're gonna check on Keita first. See her right here? Keita! Come on over here. Now, this try you can pan this too. Hey, there I am. Hey, guys. Man, I look messed up. 
I should just show you think guys I think I just shaved my head complete I'm getting ready to finish this um, outside of my bathroom. We're going to summon a stucco with that guy there. Okay, so. Uh Yeah, it's a shame what's going on around here in this in this area. You know, people people are turning this into another Detroit. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Look at you. You need brush to get. Look at all the hair I'm getting off. Her. You need brush to get. Look at you. You love it back here, don't you? It's nice and private. You know, it's it's like this morning. Well, you guys seen how I was tailgated. Well, you didn't see the car in back of me. What I what I want to do is uh, I'm going to buy another GoPro and I'm going to mount that on the rear of my bike, and then we'll do a split screen. That way, you guys can see the people in back of me and in front of me. And. Um, I don't know if I'm all, if I'm going to buy another another GoPro. Yeah, she needs brush. I have to brush her again. I don't know if I get another GoPro this year, guys. Because I mean, even if if I get like another Hero Four, they're they're like 120, 150 bucks used. Now it looks like it's raining. I felt a couple drops. You know, so um, yeah, you didn't you didn't see that red car tailgating me, but he was. You know, we're on a highway. We're going 55, 60, 65 miles an hour, and the goddamn car is 10 feet off my rear tire on a motorcycle. I was tailgated this morning coming home. It's every single day. Every every day around here, you get tailgated by the by these idiots. And. Um, <coughs> The police don't give a crap. The police don't care. The police, the police couldn't give a crap. Now let me raise the guy. <clears throat> yeah, the police don't care around here. There's no tell. There's no tailgating laws in the state of Pennsylvania. They don't exist. Can I raise the guys a little bit. What was that? Is that bird shit that just fell on me? <clears throat> so, uh, you know, and we don't have any front license plates, you know, for you to. It is, it is, I just did feel some goddamn raindrops on me. See, that is shit coming off the trees. You know, now, if the cars had front license plates on them, you could go to the police, and I, I don't think the police would even do shit, though. They wouldn't do nothing. I mean, what are they going to do? <clears throat> they're not going to call these people up and say, hey, you know what, uh, don't tailgate anybody. But they're not going to do that. They're, they're, they don't give a damn. You know, and you can't get out and beat the shit out of the person because then you're going to have an AP, an all points bulletin out for your ass for assault and battery and possibly attempted murder. You know, then they'll turn around, they'll, you'll have to pay for their hospital bills, they'll take your house. Man, I don't know why I'm itching back here. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll take your house and you'll lose your job and all because of some asshole, but that's that's how people are around here, guys. They're 
people around here, man, they're, they're, I'm sorry to say, but they're horrible people. Very mean people. Very careless people around uh, Allegheny County, Western Pennsylvania. I was looking at homes up in northern Maine. You could get so much more for your money in northern Maine. It's just, it's, I didn't even want to look at these homes. They're so beautiful. For, there was a home there, beautiful home. It was 270,000, 20 acres. It was a log home, the whole interior all pine, there was no drywall used. Damn, I feel like I must have just got bit by a mosquito. You know, around here, your average home is 270000 Up in Maine, you can get, you can get so much more with your money. You know, I don't, I don't know where we're going to move to. It's definitely going to be out of this county, possibly out of the state. You know, I was looking at, um, I was even looking at areas like Jim Thorpe, PA, on the other side of Pennsylvania. You know, there is, um, yeah, I'm getting stung up back here by mosquitoes, guys. There is a lot of nice towns on the other side of Harrisburg. So, uh, okay, guys. We did our crime blotter. Uh, I might take my bike to work tonight. I might not. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really just turned off and taking a bike around here. The calf racer, the Swickley calf racer show is coming up on uh, the 14th. I'm going to that if it doesn't rain. And I'm going to wear the GoPro on, on like a belt clip. So... What, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to camouflage it so that no one knows that I have it on. And I'm going to just walk around the whole thing. I'm going to record the entire thing. I won't, I won't record going there, but I'll record everything that's going on once I'm there. I'll stay there for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Because if um, I'm going to try to request that day off if I can't, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'll have to go because it starts at 10 a.m. in the morning. You know, if I can't get that off, I have to go to work that night. So, all right, I have to brush my dog here. My my Siberian Husky. She needs brushed bad. And uh, catch you guys later. Peace out. Okay, guys. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the property up in Maine. I've been looking at it for a while on this website here. And you can get a lot more for your money in Maine. I just want to show you a couple examples. So we're going to go on Advanced Property Search. We're going to put a maximum. Uh, 300,000 minimum of 100,000 and what we're going to look for basically are uh, log homes log construction Okay, let's see here. Look, this one here is beside a lake. Look at this one.
<clears throat> click on this one here. Some of these are all pine inside. There's no no drywall whatsoever. Now this is a, this is a maximum of three hundred thousand. Let's see here. Let's click on this one here. Two acres. Look at the living room, guys. Look at the inside, all pine, log construction. Probably very, very little drywall in that house, if any at all. Try to find something like that around Pennsylvania. Good luck. Now let's, um, let me see, let's up the ante a little bit. Four hundred thousand. Look at this place right here. Four hundred thousand. Look how many structures there is. This is on forty acres. Forty acres. Forty point seven acres. Fur fairly new house. Look at this one, two, three, four structures. Here you're paying mostly for the land. This place here, you got two homes. This is a multi-family. Two homes for three hundred and forty-nine thousand. Unbelievable. Let's look at this place here. God, it looks like they got a swimming pool. Let's click on that. I got a five car garages. One, two, three, four, five, five garages. Look at the inside of this place here. Let's check it out. Unbelievable. Hey, is a Nittany Nitt Lion fan? Wood burning fireplace. Everything pine inside, guys. There's no drywall. There's a lot of homes up there like that. There's no drywall. Plus you get a swimming pool. And that's on 40 acres. Guys, I was almost T-boned this morning. I'm coming home, okay? A lot of traffic because of road construction. They're 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 milling a section of the road here. So there is, I mean, the, the backups were crazy, crazy backups. So there's a there's a blind here pin turn. Usually, what I do is once I go past that, I turn up my main drag. So this time, I decided I'm going to turn. I'm going to make the left one street before. So, 
I put my left hand turn signal on. I did have the left hand turn, turn signal on. The guy in front of me speeds up a little bit. He 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 goes. I as soon as I get ready to make the turn, shh, here comes this SUV, probably going 60, 70 miles an hour around the blind turn. Almost T-boned me. As soon as I seen him, I floored it, or I would have got T-boned. These people around here in western Pennsylvania have gone mad. Well, that's the best way I can describe it for you. They have absolutely, my hand to Lord Almighty, have gone, they have gone completely mad. They have gone completely insane. Guys, I gotta move away from here as soon as I can. This place is bad news. This part of Pennsylvania, I'm not talking about all Pennsylvania. I'm talking about the Allegheny County area. It is bad news. The mornings, you if, if you go to Atlanta, Boston, Miami, Chicago, Los Angeles, they can't touch this place with insanity. And there's no police nowhere. There's there's no police. I don't know where the police are, but they ain't, they're not they're not anywhere near the roads. You know, I I would love to move to Maine, simply because the kind of house I can get with the money I'm going to spend. You know, uh, uh, the two hundred thousand dollar neighborhood, you can get a hell of a house, boy. You can get a hell of a house up there. You can get a big house, beautiful home. You know, I, I don't even want land. I, I used to be a land nut, guys, but this place, man, I've, I've got to move away from here. Got to move away from here, guys. I haven't had time to ride the bike. I did take off August 14th. That's when the um, calf racer motorcycle show is um it's not only for calf racers it's just for a lot of different kind of motorcycles but that's on august the 14th and uh i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have that day off so i i, I mixed a lot of different things in with this just to show you what's going on and um i appreciate the new subscribers also take it easy